In Souls, we talk a lot about disparity, about what lies between light and dark, life and death, heat and cold, and today we discuss two different absolutes. We discuss what lies between those with power and those without. And in this case, what lies between them is a wall, a stone wall that appeared quite suddenly, cementing this divide between hollows and the nobles who control them. And mind you, wall or not, there has always been a divide. In the days of Lordran, humanity was a rising force, and as a result, they were feared, imprisoned, and shepherded. They were taught to fear the undead rising in their ranks. In Drangleic, the undead were subjugated once more, of course, but they were also experimented upon, and all the while, they were expected to sacrifice themselves, as Gwyn once did, to keep those royals in power. And now, in Lothric, the unkindled, born of the ash of these unending sacrifices, journeys through a small town of suffering undead. It was here where a thief once fancied himself a martyr for the poor. It was the state of this town that drove Grey Rat to climb the wall. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. The head covering he wears was once used to cover the heads of the lesser folk, the people who were set to work as slaves throughout Lotharic, but occasionally it was used to shame and humiliate criminals. And we have reason to believe that Greyrat was indeed a slave to the kingdom once, for he knows the castle grounds well. But here, in Lower Lotharic, Greyrat is caught and imprisoned for the very first time. Ah. You're no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town, not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I, I'm not asking for charity. In, fa in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then, huh? Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part and I'll do mine. We can't know who Loretta was. We don't know why her corpse clutches a bone, nor do we know what Grey Rat's relationship to her was. The one detail we do know is that the little rare ring he gives us to give to her is a tear stone, which has the uncanny ability to sense imminent death, protecting its wearer in their final moments. So whoever she was to him, it seems he cared for her and sensed her death was close. Heavens, she was already dead. Thank you. I'm not surprised, though. Almost a relief, really. You can keep the ring as, well, a little trinket of thanks, I suppose. <laughs> he breaks his composure when you appear back, and from then on, dedicates himself fully to your cause. Ah, there you are. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? Thank you. You will not be disappointed. 
I will leave for some time. So long for now. Do stay safe, you hear? Or my efforts will have been for naught. <laughs> Don't take Grey Rat's robbery of the undead settlement lightly. It was his home. It was the poor there who inspired him to climb the wall and risk his life, and it was a settlement where he cared deeply for someone. His thievery of the settlement is kind of an admission that everyone there no longer matters to him. You do. And so, emboldened by his new purpose, he asks to put himself in harm's way once again. Oh, hello. Fine work, I say. Discovering Irithyll in the Boreal Valley all in a day's work. If the tales are true, it is home to old moon-worshipping nobles, and should be packed with treasure. What do you think? Shall I go and see what I can find? Mmm, a fine choice. I am Grey Rat the Thief. What I bring back will be worthy of that name. <laughs> that name is also known by others. Ah, I see you've made Grey Rat. A slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> this is Patches, the hyena, the spider, the unbreakable. By now we have a pretty good grasp of his character, and it's this same character who, for the first time, expresses a genuine concern about the well-being of another. Hey, what happened to Grey Rat anyhow? I haven't seen him at all lately. Well, if you know where he scurried off to, be sure and tell me. But I need to stock up, and if he's gone and croaked, he'll have left a cold mine. <laughs> right. Yes, I see how it is. Some things can't be divulged, even between friends. It comes with the territory, I know. But if you happen to recall any details, do be a saint. Do it for old Patch's boutique of wonders at least, eh? <laughs> if Patches is still alive to tell you this, then it means you've forgiven him for a great deal of things. You've forgiven him for impersonating the Onion Knight, for locking you in a tower. He's tried to kill you twice now, probably, and it's understandable, right, that you wouldn't want to tell him where your friend has gone. However, Grey Rat can be saved by the very thief you tried to protect him from. Well, happen to recall anything important about where that old rat scurried off to? <laughs> what? Gone all the way to Irithyll, has he? <laughs> Can't be much left of that frozen sprawl. Oh, the old rat. He's gone off the deep end this time. Was Grey Rat truly saved by Sigurd here? It's possible. Or rather, was he saved by an impersonator who was protecting their reputation? Oh, then we're both safe and sound. Thank the gods for that. I don't like getting things so close. I might have died if it wasn't for that peculiar onion night. But in the end, it all paid off. Take a good look, they're sure to be of some use. You know, I, I was thinking about leaving for another round of thieving. There must be something of use in Lothric Castle. I, I'm aware of the danger. That castle is a death trap. Not a single man has returned from the castle unscathed, even back in the day. But I don't want to sit around and die a petty rat. And I consider myself your friend. <laughs> Off to Lothric, the castle of no return. That old thief's lost it if he thinks he has a chance in there. But it's not like he's new to this game. What's got him to him? His debt repaid even Patches wouldn't risk Lothric for a friend. But Grey Rat will. He risks it for us. Self-sacrifice is in his character, after all. But I don't think we're the only reason he goes. 
Think back to when he hid his grief over Loretta, to how he's so absorbed that he doesn't even notice you. Immediately after this, he dives into danger on your behalf, his sorrow, apparently, forgotten. Don't you think that's strange? I don't think his sorrow is forgotten at all. I lived a petty rat, but would rather not die as one. Grey Rat, the thief. A petty rat looking for an honourable escape.